One funny thing about Bitcoin is that it delivers when no one expects it to. After one particularly bleak week in which everyone lost almost all hope, Bitcoin managed to come back with a level of vigor not seen since January. The asset briefly touched support at $29,000 only to bounce back to $40,000 within a few days. Is the cryptocurrency market possibly back on track? It's time to find out. Welcome to the Shrimpy YouTube channel, a cryptocurrency educational channel dedicated to guiding your journey in the world of blockchain technology. In today's video, we're going to explain what's been going on with the market and why buying in interest exploded in recent days. With nearly $900 million in short liquidations triggered on Monday, you're bound to hear a juicy story. So lean back and enjoy the show. Before we continue with today's market recap, we'd like to remind you that if you own accounts on multiple exchanges, you can access them all with only one platform with the help of Shrimpy. Shrimpy supports 16 of the world's best cryptocurrency trading platforms. So if you're in need of an automated portfolio management suite that handles your crypto portfolio, make sure to visit shrimpy.io and register an account. For once in a long time, the week started on a great note for the cryptocurrency market. Bulls bought the dip with striking confidence and retail investors finally got their hopes back up after an irrationally long period of doom and gloom. Some might say that Bitcoin might be just about ready to pull another bull run from its sleeve, but knowing how bipolar the market can get, it might be best to wait for a while before reaching a conclusion. So what's going on? If you've been keeping track of Bitcoin's chart for the past few days, you might have noticed that prices jumped by up to 32%. As a matter of fact, the Asian session pushed Bitcoin up by 16% alone between Saturday and Monday, which led to some pretty nasty results for bears looking to bet on Bitcoin's downfall. According to statistics from Bybit, short positions saw $900 million in liquidations over the course of 24 hours. Those who opened shorts on Bitcoin accounted for 81% of the total sum, while investors betting bearishly on other digital assets made up the remaining 19%. Prices began moving around on Monday right around the daily, and more importantly, weekly close. Attempting to paint a better chart and save Bitcoin from its demise, bulls have likely pushed money into the crypto market in order to provide improved technical support to the market for the coming weeks. But is motivating technical analysts the only play at hand here? Last week's rumors might have also played a crucial role in forming the ongoing bullish wave. For example, Elon Musk confirmed during an online event with Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey that both Tesla and SpaceX hold Bitcoin. Moreover, the beloved but controversial industry leader noted that he is personally invested in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, claiming that he owns much more Bitcoin compared to the other two assets. But the rumors don't stop there. A report from UK-based news portal City AM shared insider information regarding Amazon's interest in accepting Bitcoin. Per the report, the e-commerce giant will supposedly accept the digital asset as a payment method by the end of the year. However, Amazon refused to comment on the rumors when contacted by crypto news agencies. Another breaking news reported by Business Insider is the fact that Amazon published a job listing for a blockchain-related position. The interested candidate will have to develop Amazon's digital currency, blockchain strategy, and product roadmap. Per The Insider, Amazon has an entire strategy developed to tackle the disruptive technology and integrate it in order to improve the effectiveness of its services. To quote The Insider, this isn't just going through the motions to set up a cryptocurrency payment solution at some point in the future. This is a full-on, well-discussed, integral part of the future mechanism of how Amazon will work. What's more important is the fact that the decision is coming from the very top. The insider believes that the Bitcoin integration has been called for by Amazon's executive chairman and founder, Jeff Bezos himself. Although the plan is to adopt Bitcoin first, we can expect the company to accept other cryptocurrencies as well. The report notes that Ethereum, Cardano, and Bitcoin Cash are next in line, and that we can expect eight more popular cryptocurrencies to go online after the initial wave of integrations. It sounds like a dream come true, right? With a revival in commercial and institutional crypto adoption, Bitcoin has the potential to approach all-time highs just like it did during the last quarter of 2020. Can we reach that point yet? A majority of crypto TA experts argue that $40,000 is a crucial level for Bitcoin bulls. For the crypto market to surge, higher investors have to reclaim that price level before gaining the confidence needed to venture beyond. After all, it's the highest price level that we'd controlled for months before collapsing mid-May. 
So depending on what happens next, we will figure out whether the recent price action has been impulsive or played out with merit. Don't forget that stocks are another factor that come into play. Although Bitcoin tends to rally and lose along with traditional markets, we still have brief moments of independence where cryptocurrencies do not have a high level of correlation with other assets. The recent surge is a clear example of Bitcoin's fierce independence, which preceded a sharp rise on the American stock market in a particularly blurry period where even TradFi veterans didn't know where they were headed. But fears of inflation and global instability are still on the table, ready to disrupt both digital and non-digital assets. While the West soars, trouble is bubbling in the East, with China's equity tech market seeing losses of up to 5%. At the same time, events such as central banks' stimulus tapering and supply shocks create a pessimistic environment. The US dollar index is another force that has the potential to make or break Bitcoin's bullish move. If the dollar weakens in the coming weeks, digital assets might just gain enough time for a relief to reach consensus on where the market is headed. But if the dollar does not drop, there is a real possibility of Bitcoin erasing its previous gains. Last but not least, we can rely on on-chain statistics to paint us the entire picture. According to a Twitter post from on-chain and social crypto statistics platform Santiment, Bitcoin has reached an 18-month low of its supply exchange ratio. What this means is that coins are being actively offloaded to cold storage for long-term holding while prices are declining or maintaining their value. What we can expect to happen as a result is less downside risk as whales are confident enough in their strategy to pull assets from exchanges. A similar bullish sentiment is apparent with Ethereum's on-chain data as well. Santiment showcases in a different tweet that Ethereum's top 10 non-exchange wallets are adding onto their holdings. By doing so, they have successfully broken a five-year high by reaching a figure of 21.3 million Ether held on personal blockchain wallets. Simultaneously, the top 10 exchange wallets have seen a low of 4.66 million Ether held on trading platforms, which is a low not seen since Ethereum's launch in 2015. Considering that on-chain metrics are great for not only one, but two of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the world, it suffices to say that the chances of breaking out and securing a bullish cycle are higher than ever. Of course, anything can happen, and you shouldn't blindly bet on one side without considering the risks. So before joining Team Bull or Team Bears, make sure to do your own research so that you don't get burned. What do you think? Where is the crypto market headed right now and what can we expect to happen in the coming months? Leave your prediction in the comments below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe before moving on to our next video.